Hi and welcome back to our Dreamweaver tutorial. In this video we're going to see how to set up the multimedia gallery on our website. Let's go ahead and take a look at our completed project here. I'm at manchestertemplate.info and if I go to the gallery page right here you'll see we have our multimedia gallery. And what sets this tool um, apart from other um, um, photo or media galleries is that it will do both photos or images as well as videos. And you can see here when I click on one of the thumbnails, one of the small versions of my image, the large image appears, sort of a standard light box effect here. And we've got our normal previous and next buttons that you can use. They're also included down here. This tool will do a slideshow if you want. If I press the play button right here, you can see after a moment the next photo appears. And I could pause that slideshow if I want. There's a close button right down here. And then finally, there are buttons that will allow your website visitors to tweet your picture, your image, or like your um, image on their Twitter account or their um, Facebook page. Um, this is actually just a convenience um, for them. It doesn't hook into your Facebook page or your Twitter account. This would like your photo on their Facebook page. So we'll go ahead and close that off and you can see um, an example of the video gallery right here. I'm going to mute this and you can see the uh, image gallery here. And this um, tool will support videos that um, are hosted on any major platform such as YouTube or Vimeo. And you can see in the player here I have all of my normal controllers. I have the play pause button, button for volume, a button for quality settings and closed captioning as well as a uh, full screen um, button here. So whatever tools your um, video host provides or your video player provides um, will be um, incorporated into um, this window. So this is a great tool um, for hosting both image galleries and um, video galleries. Now, um, this lesson is going to be divided into a couple different um, uh, parts, really. One is how to actually prepare your images. And the second is how to actually set up the tool to display your images. And we're going to start off by talking about um, some simple ways you can uh, work um, with your images to get them ready using Adobe Fireworks before we bring them into um, Dreamweaver. Now the first and most obvious um, item about um, your photo galleries and your, and your uh, video galleries is you not only need the actual image itself in its full size, but you also need a smaller version of that image. And the smaller version of the image, the one you click on to bring up the full size version of the image, is called a thumbnail. A thumbnail. And there are a variety of different ways that you can create thumbnails. Um, and a lot of the decisions that you make as far as how um, you're going to make your thumbnails will depend really on how much time you want to spend uh, making the thumbnails um, and what type of quality you want for your thumbnails. Um, the different ways to make thumbnails um, are basically you can bring them into a graphics program like uh, Fireworks or Photoshop and you can make the uh, thumbnails there or you can make thumbnails using either HTML attributes for the um, um, image tag or using CSS. And basically with those final two uh, methods, either the attributes in HTML, uh, the HTML image tag, or in CSS, you'll basically just be modifying the original image. 
Um, resizing your images using CSS um, or HTML um, is very easy to do. It's basically just a couple uh, pieces of code. But it also produces the lowest quality thumbnail image. So depending on um, what size you're trying to make your thumbnails, um, you may find that the um, end results there are unsatisfactory. Um, it's the fastest way, but it does, again, provide um, the least amount of quality. And I'll be showing you how to um, um, use those two methods um, um, in a little bit. Usually the reason why somebody would resort to um, using CSS or HTML is that um, they have hundreds of images that they need to create thumbnails for. Um, and they don't have um, um, uh, the time to bring them into something like Fireworks or Photoshop and make those um, thumbnails individually. And then, of course, this sort of the, the second way to do that would be actually bringing it, your image into a graphics program and making a smaller version of the image using either a batch process or by manually cropping and resizing the image to get it exactly where you want. Now, with this tool, the thumbnails for your gallery should all be the same size. In this case, we have two galleries on this page, the photo gallery and the video gallery. And you can see I can have different size thumbnails for um, the different galleries. But within a gallery, it's usually going to look best if your thumbnails are all the same um, size. In my case, my thumbnails are fairly small and they're in landscape orientation, but you could make your, um, your thumbnails whatever size you want. Um, and you could also make them whatever orientation you want. If you wanted these to be taller instead of wide, um, you could make um, those types of thumbnails. So let's go ahead now and I'm going to go to um, my desktop here. And you can see I've created a folder and just put some random sample images that I want to um, work with here. And probably the method that provides you a nice um, middle ground between quality and speed is using the batch process um, in a graphics program, such as Photoshop or Fireworks. And this is actually one of Fireworks, I think, best features is its batch processing capabilities. Because it allows you to accomplish a lot with very little um, effort. So we want to create thumbnails for each one of these images. And you can see they're all roughly between 500 and 250. You know, right around there. That's the size of the um, original. And the thumbnails, we want to be 120 by 80. 120 pixels wide by 80 pixels high. So I'm going to go ahead and again go into uh, Fireworks here. And I'm going to go to the File menu and select Batch Process. Now, when I select Batch Process, the first thing that I have to do is I have to select the images that I want to include um, uh, in this process. So I'm going to go to my desktop here and um, there's my gallery sample folder. And I'm just going to go ahead and click add all here to add all of the images from that folder. You could also add them individually if you wanted to. And then I'm going to click the next button here. And the batch processes that Fireworks give you will do a lot more than just simply um, um, creating thumbnails. So we have to tell it what specifically we want it to do. The first thing I want to do is I want to scale these images. So I'm going to double click on scale here. And it will move it over into the include and batch side of this window. And then I need to come down here and choose how I want it to scale. 
and I want to scale all of my images to being a particular size. So I'm going to make them all 120 by 80. And again, because I'm making all of my thumbnails the same size, even though my originals are not the same size, this is going to bring a little bit of distortion um, into the thumbnail. But again, they're small and um, you may not even notice it. I'm going to go ahead and click on next here. Whoops, I'm sorry. I forgot to do one more thing here. I'm going to go ahead and select the export option. And I'm going to select the format that I want it in. I could rename the file if I want, the resulting file if I want. Uh, for instance, I could put a, a prefix on it. I sometimes put dash thumb on the end of my thumbnails um, for that. You're, you're going to notice actually since I um, added these extra two commands here, we don't want to rename after we export. We need to get these in the right order. So obviously you want to rename that. So I'm going to go ahead and move that on up there. Um, under export, you can also click on edit and come in here and choose any of the settings you normally would, such as the quality if you're doing a JPEG image. So I now have the three things I'm going to do. I'm going to scale it to 120 by 80. I'm going to rename it with the prefix thumb, and then I'm going to export it just as a JPEG file. I'll click Next. And this is where I'm allowed to choose where I want to put those smaller versions of the images. And I'm going to select Custom Location here, and again go to my desktop and find that Gallery folder. There's my Gallery Sample folder. And I'm going to create a new folder in there and just call it Thumbs. And that's where I want to save those images. So now that I'm in the thumbnail folder, it should say Select Thumbs here, I can go ahead and click Open there, and then hit Batch. And you're going to see it does each one of the six images, and it's now telling me it's finished. So I'll click OK here. And I'm going to minimize Dreamweaver, or I'm sorry, Fireworks, and go back into my gallery folder. And now you can see I have that thumbs folder. And you can see each one of those has now been prefixed with dash thumb one, dash thumb two. And you can see when I select the image, when I look at the properties, these are all 120 by 80. So now that I have um, my thumbnails as well as the full size version of my image, I'm ready to go ahead and um, um, set up my um, image gallery. And again, you could do this by hand, resizing them, cropping the images, and you will get a, um, a better quality result doing them individually and saving them individually than when you do a batch process. Um, but again, time might restrict you on that if you have a lot of um, images. So I'm going to go ahead and there's the gallery sample folder. I'm going to go ahead and copy that and move it into my project folder here. And I'm going to move it into the um, images folder. And there I have gallery sample. So I'm now ready to go into Dreamweaver and set up my um, gallery tool. And that's what we're going to go ahead and do um, in the next video. So I will see you then.